Hey guys, what's up? So I want to talk to you real quick about broccoli sprouts, okay? Broccoli sprouts are a very important microgreen that you should be growing. And I want to tell you why. Broccoli sprouts are probably the pinnacle superfood, okay? Most microgreens are extremely good for you. Most microgreens hit anywhere between 30 times the nutrition that's in the whole plant, sometimes 40 times the nutrition that's in the whole plant. If you eat um, pea shoots, and you eat a cup of, of pea shoots, it's like eating 30 cups of peas, okay? That's the kind of the nutrition equivalent. The microgreens are much, much, much denser in the nutrients. They have much more nutrients than the final plant. Broccoli sprouts and microgreens peg that scale. Broccoli sprouts and microgreens are 100 times as more nutritious as the, bro as the final product of broccoli. So if you eat one jar over the course of a week, or 10 days of broccoli sprouts, it's like eating, getting the nutrition of eating 100 jars of broccoli in that same amount of time. So that's definitely one you wanna, you wanna include, okay? It is one of the most pinnacle superfoods that we have. So you, you wanna do it, and it's super easy. So let me go over on how we're gonna do it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna use a mason jar. There's two different ways you can do broccoli. You, you can do it as a sprout, which is like we're gonna do in the mason jar, or you can do it just like we do the mung beans and you can do it as a microgreen. I prefer the sprouts, they're quicker, they're easier, and there's really not that much more volume. They're so hair, paper, hair thin, that even when you do them as a microgreen, it takes 10 days and you have almost very little difference in the volume that you get from a jar in a tray. And a tray takes much longer to do and it's harder to harvest. So I just prefer the microgreens. Some people, I'm sorry, the sprouts. Some people like the microgreens, that's fine too. You can watch my, uh, my sprout video for bean sprouts. Just do them just like that. On the broccoli, you're gonna soak it, I believe it's four hours as a pre-soak, and then take it out of the dark at four days, right where you would be harvesting your mung beans. And you're gonna leave it in the light, underneath the light until um, nine or 10 days, okay? So that's how you do the microgreen. Maybe we'll do a video on that, but I don't really do a lot of that. I mostly do the sprouts. Um, so let's let's show you how to do it. So we're gonna use a, a mason jar. If you don't have one of these specialty sprouting lids, then you can use just a rubber band and some cloth. It really, you don't have to get real fancy. You can then just tip the jar um, in, in a bowl and let it drain out after, after you rinse them. These are nice because they can automatically uh, sit diagonal. You can put them on a flat surface or a pan. But generally, I still just put it in a bowl, okay? So that's one of the sprouting ones. You can get, I got these off Amazon. Sometimes they have a wire mesh ones, but you can use just a rubber band and a cloth the same way. Um, yeah, so you really don't need many sprouts uh, to, for the broccoli sprouts. That's what's awesome. So I'm just gonna put in enough to kind of cover the bottom of the glass of the basin jar. So it's gonna be about two, two of the spoons, something like that. So I'm gonna go one, two, maybe just a smidgen more. Two and a half, let's say. Something about like that. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna go just like that. So let's call it two and a half spoons full. I just do it to where when it's at a single level, it's gonna cover the bottom of the glass, okay? These happen to be Country Creek Acres seeds. These are the ones I bought eight ounces of this. I believe it was $10 for eight ounces. Pretty good deal. These last a long time because you, you can tell you don't, you don't use that much. Um, a little more expensive than say like a mung bean or a, or a pea shoot or something like that, but still just super high quality. You definitely want to include it for nutrition's sake. Over the course of, um, you know, something like this maybe costs less than a dollar for a whole a whole um, jar full of these, of these sprouts uh, once they're sprouted. And, and this will probably last you a week or more, 10 days. And um, and you just get so much nutrition. So it's, it's definitely worth it in my mind. Definitely want to do the broccoli sprouts. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to fill this jar up with water. Okay, and I did not bring a bowl over. I wish I would have. You're going to fill the jar up with water. You're going to soak them for about four hours. Okay, after about four hours, you're going to drain them out, right? They're going to be swollen up a little bit. And then you just kind of do this to get them to stick to the sides. Okay, and then you can just stick it. If you've got a, a lid like this, you can just stick this on any flat plate or whatever on a towel or whatever. Down on, don't make sure that there's airflow, so don't put it completely down on the towel. But you can put it on a flat tray. I tend to generally stick them in a bowl and just let them sit diagonal in a bowl. Okay, so super easy. And then what you want to do is uh, three times a day, two to three times a day, I try to do three times a day, just take them, stick it under the, the faucet, fill up the jar, swish it around, rinse it out, dump it back down the sink, right back in the bowl, okay? At a diagonal, just like that. 
all right? So you're gonna do that for about four days, okay? This, in about four days of being rinsed three times a day, is gonna look like this. I know, can you believe it? There's like, you can't even see that. It's like a minuscule line right here. It's gonna fill the whole jar, okay? You're gonna end up with this, and this is awesome. This is, this is golden, okay? This is like gold as far as nutrition's, nutri nutrition's concerned. This is a nutritional bomb. This has something called, and I'm not the science guy on the nutrition. I'm a science guy, but not on the nutrition side. But I believe it's called um, cellofluorothane. Okay, and that stuff is, you, you think, you know, you, we've been lied to here. If you ever drink Snapple, I like Snapple. They tell you that it's made from the best stuff on earth. <laughs> they lied. Broccoli sprouts are made from the best stuff on earth. So this uh, cellofluorothane, it really does. It's got all these studies. It helps cure cancer. It really does. It does all this stuff nutritional wise. These aren't weird claims. You, look, you can look it up. That's not my forte. I'll let you guys go and look, but it's, it's some magic stuff. If you want some, the golden, you know, the golden egg, you want that nutrition. The broccoli sprouts are where it's at. So definitely include them in your diet. Um, and so we'll talk about harvesting them. What I normally do, to be honest, uh, the broccoli sprouts are a little green for me because I like a lot of the other sprouts, but the broccoli sprouts for me are a little green. And I don't particularly like the, the hairy type texture. So if I open these up just to show you, I'm not gonna, don't let that turn you off to them. But uh, so you don't want to eat them in a big clump. The first time I ate these, I took out a big clump. And it was like I cleaned off a hairbrush, right? And I put uh, salad dressing on them and it, it was awful. It was like chewing on hair, right? But you don't need that much. That's the beauty of it. So remember, you're getting the nutrition of a hundred times this amount. So pinch off a bit like this and spread them out. Spread them out on your salad. You won't even know they're there. Spread them out in your soup. You won't even know they're there, right? You can put them on salads. You can put them on soups. You can put them on sandwiches. But the whole deal is don't just eat them in one big clump because... It, I like broccoli, but these are pretty potent. So they're a little green for me, like I say. Spread them out. You won't even know that they're there. You won't You won't have the texture. You won't have the taste, but you'll have the nutrition, and that's really what it's all about on these things. These things rock. <clears throat> you definitely want to include them. Don't eat them in a big gulp like oh, some people like them. They're also good in smoothies. They're great uh, blended up in smoothies. They're already so fine. Anyways, you blend them up in there, you don't even know they're in there. So that's another great, great use. This will make, you know, plenty of smoothies. So it's great for people that do that, the juice thing. That's not my forte. I don't do that kind of stuff. I like it food on my food. I don't do the shakes or the, or the um, uh, smoothies or all that kind of thing. But nothing wrong with that. Go for it if that's your thing. Make it happen. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll take about this much when I have a serving of it, and I'll just put it on whatever I'm eating, and uh, I like it. You never even know it's there. You're getting tons of nutrition. It's a good way to go. Let's go talk about how to uh, harvest it. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so here we are over in the sink. We're going to harvest these uh, broccoli sprouts. So what you want to do is you want to put the sprouts in a little bath in a container here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get this handy dandy little strainer. I think I got mine at the dollar store, probably like $1.25. But you're just going to agitate the seeds, I mean the sp uh, sprouts, and you're going to let the little seed holes rise up to the surface of the water. At that point, you're just going to go across with your little strainer and you're just going to get all those little seed holes out. It's okay if you take a few sprouts with you. There's a lot of sprouts there, so if you lose a few doing, during this process, that's okay. If there's too many, then just go through the ones you put aside a second time in another bath and regain some of that, that, that you pulled aside. But generally, we're just going to do that. We're going to agitate the seeds. We're going to scrape across the surface with our strainer and get all those little seed holes. After we've got to completion with that, then what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our sprouts. We're going to put them back on our original grow tray. And we're going to let them drip dry. We're going to let them drip dry for about an hour. After about an hour, when they're somewhat dry, we're going to put them into a Ziploc bag into the fridge where they're going to last for us for about a week. We're going to stick a, a um, paper towel in there with them just to kind of help absorb some of the moisture and help them last a little longer. So that's what we're going to do. The broccoli sprouts are super nutritious, and they're just a nutrition bomb. So you, this is what you want to do. Get these things going. Try them in some of the foods that you're eating. I think you're going to really like having them, really like all the benefits that you're going to get. So that's broccoli sprouts, guys. Give it a shot. Uh, post some pictures in the, in the comments below and let us know what you're doing with yours and how the grow is coming along. All right, you guys. This is Troy. I'm out. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.